Nation, which means they are trying to repatriate that gold and force America to give the gold back. America doesn't have the gold, okay, which is the problem. They've stretched out 50 billion so, uh, or tons or so, whatever it is, how many ever X amount of tons every year for the next four years. But the gold doesn't exist. Here's where it gets even steamier because the uh, Canadian, um, uh, um, oh, the, it, it's a mining firm. It starts with a B. They go to Africa. They have the largest gold production mine in Africa. So the American banks are leaning on the Canadian bank to now attempt to come up with the gold out of the gold mine to pay the Germans back. However, China has moved in and is seizing those gold mines through hostile takeovers in, <laughs> through corporations and is taking the gold supply away from them. And they got no way to pay it back. They've got no way to produce this gold that doesn't exist anymore. They got some of it back by doing what they originally planned, which was to bomb and kill the Libyans and take the gold back by force. So they sold the gold to him and then killed him and took it back. Is basically what happened. How much gold did they get out of? How much out of Libya is it estimated? I I, I don't know the actual figure because there are five or six different people claiming the figure, and now the new rebels are claiming well there wasn't that much gold there in the first oh, place. How ironic! There we claim that. Yeah, oh, yeah, just, there just wasn't anything here. But th there's somewhere supposedly Gaddafi had had gained. Uh, Six, I think it was 600 more tons than is held in Italy. Mm. I think he had accumulated that much. So he was like ranked number four on gold reserves in the world as far as a nation. China is number one, believe it or not. Oh, I believe that. Our gold is all leased into paper. If you take away all the paper gold, all the ETS and all this crap and look at solid metal, okay, we're, I don't even know if we're in the top five. I, so the, the reality of this is is that 60% of the Germans' gold wealth is just gone. It just vaporized. And now everybody's scrambling around. You have over a 1,000 cases already put before the German Supreme Court right now, a 1,000 cases filed together, basically claiming that, well, what is our currency worth? Where is our gold? We want our gold. We want to see our gold now. It's basically what they're claiming. It, 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 they're, they're trying to hush it in the mainstream media, but you see it bubbling out in places. You see reports. You see Max Kaiser did a huge report on it. He went in depth talking about, uh, you know, the Bundesbank and, and all of these individuals that are involved. And uh, let me tell you, Charlie, this, it, I, I know I squeeze it all in the first portion and there's more that we can cover, like the proxy war around the gold mine that's going on between uh, African forces their African forces are on both sides. However, one side is carrying the the Kalashnikov, the classic their their classic Russian armed soldiers conscripts for China, and then on the other side you have the American armed African, and they're fighting over these this this gold supply. And it's none of it's in the I mean none of it's in the mainstream obviously whatsoever. I'm looking at a, at a world uh, official gold holdings as of December 2010. EU is listed as the most. With uh, fifteen point seven uh, thousand uh, tons, Germany's that's, huh? that's that's because they claim all the individual countries' gold holdings as their own. Right, right, and and Germany's sitting here with well, with official numbers of uh, three point three, uh, let's see, three uh, thirty three hundred metric tons. Well, imagine the realization that if you woke up tomorrow, because the markets really base everything off of gold, people don't understand that, but we could talk about how the market functions and where it sees store of wealth within the market, and how it claims that capital wealth. Yeah, even though, even though everybody, even though we're, you know, we're, we're all sold this idea that gold is uh, archaic, you know, gold is something for the past, this is what they truly deal in. Tell me what you think if tomorrow, all that gold, that is, that all that portion of the economy that the German wealth is supporting, if tomorrow morning you woke up and and they finally came out and said, "Hey, guess what? Sixty percent of this wealth doesn't even exist." Ooh, good timing, Eric. But we're going to be back with Eric Lovely, Warm Wide Awake News Radio, in just a few minutes, guys. Hang tight. Charlie 
McGrath of WideAwakeNews.com here with a question from my friends at Austin Rare Coins and Bullion. What do they know that we don't? Insiders and a who's who list of elite have made it crystal clear that we are headed for catastrophe, putting out warning after warning, urging people to batten down the hatches. Billionaire George Soros has recently been dumping stocks and at the same time acquiring millions in gold. In fact, in a recent interview, he was quoted as saying, I'm not here to cheer you up. The situation is as serious and difficult as I've experienced in my career. Out of control government deficit spending and a Federal Reserve that's only solution seems to be print more fiat currency will lead to a weaker dollar and massive inflation on necessity items such as energy and food. If you have wealth to protect, please visit my friends at Austin Rare Coins and Bullion. Gabe Elton and the folks at Austin Rare Coins and Bullion have many wide awake news customers because they're honest, they're fair, and they won't sell you paper promises or product they do not have. Call Gabe Elton at 800-552-4109. That number again, 800-552-4109. Or visit them online at austincoins.com. Remember this name, Carnivora, that's C-A-R-N-I-V-O-R-A, dot com. What if I told you that this 100% pure and natural product was delivered directly to the White House at President Reagan's personal request at a time when only the President was able to obtain it? Reagan used this amazing product, Carnivora, successfully, a product derived only from nature that has the intelligence to instinctively attack abnormal cells only without harming a single normal cell, and the power to actually wake up critical immune cells from dormancy to attack foreign invaders that don't belong in our bodies. Carnivora is now obtainable by anyone who wants to get healthy and stay that way. Call 1-866-VENUS-FLY and protect yourself with 17 naturally occurring compounds that will unleash powerful immune defense. That's 1-866-VENUS-FLY. Call 1-866-VENUS-FLY and get your Carnivora today. Visit Carnivora.com. Will 2012 bring the Mayan end of world or the global banking collapse? In 2007, one man, Mike Dillard, made five predictions which forecasted the 2008 economic crisis and the pending Eurozone collapse. This week, Mike unleashes three brand new, shocking, must-watch videos with predictions for the coming year. www.the3videos.com Over the past year, Mike Dillard has helped thousands of ordinary people create and recover wealth by tapping into the black box investing strategies the big banks don't want you to know about. www.the3videos.com As the European banking system implodes and governments collapse at breakneck speeds, the next 12 months will be the most anticipated and important months in modern human history. This will make 2008 look like a walk in the park. Everyone will be affected. Go to www.the3videos.com now. Learn how to prepare your family and prosper during the global financial collapse. All right, ladies and gents and so forth and all the other creatures that have ears that want to listen. This is the Wide Awake News. I am Eric of the Lovely Family. We are back from break. Charlie went to uh, into the other room to open a door or something. Now I'm not sure, but he'll be back in just a minute. But basically, you know, we're going to continue on looking at this. You know, if you have questions, if, if you want to call, if you want to talk about other issues that we're not talking about. Um, but right now, you know, there are a lot of people that always, you know, they're always asking me about Things that will impact, that will push the chains one direction or another, or uh, uh, something massive that will that will happen that you know makes things ha other things happen. You know what the triggers are and so forth. And I'm telling you, if 60% of Germany's gold just evaporates overnight, <laughs> that that could you're you're right, Eric. That that could certainly destabilize everything. I, you know, and, and that's everything, not yeah. not just some things, everything, everything. Yeah. And, and that's, you know, I really am. I really am waiting for this event. I'm waiting. I, you know, I, I was telling you during the break and I'll, I'll tell everybody in chat now. Um, I, I uploaded. I, I mentioned this project during the week that, uh, that my brother and I worked on. Um, the title of the video is Will You Survive a Collapse uh, Crisis? And um, the scenario is 
you you wake up uh, on a Monday morning and and you have a sovereign debt uh, casualty. You have a, a nation that the uh, the defaults, causing a a cascading failure in the markets. Which this is exactly what this would do. Um, and then the scenario of it is uh, this uh, individual, this worker, has to get uh, from work to home, but avoiding urban areas and and all that. So we went out and actually. You know, we spent the night out in the sticks and uh, recorded the whole thing. And, uh, you know, I, I hope it isn't uh, accurate to, to uh, uh, what's coming in, in the too near term future. But, it you know, something like waking up to find out that all the gold's gone and all it's been stolen. And, and then we've been murdering leaders of worlds for this reason. I mean, this certainly could happen. And, and people need to understand, you know, when we when we look at let's look at the European situation, and how much money has been loaned to them, and and basically fostered into existence and so forth for the European Union as a whole. And the European Union, we we can boil this down to to the reality: the gold that they claim, okay, that really backs everything is the German the German gold engine. And in, in other words, its con its economy paired with the amount of gold it has. And its ability to create wealth based on those two factors working together is the only thing keeping the EU afloat. If 60% of that supposed German powerhouse evaporates overnight, you instantaneously devalue <laughs> the <laughs> you currency laugh. of every European nation in one failed stroke. I mean, the, the idea <laughs> of the debt load and what will happen if they realize that the person who's holding the card that says, yeah, I can pay this loan back, only has 40% of the actual wealth that they think they have, okay? Understand where this can go and, and, and understand that right now there's actual people dying in Africa over this event. There are people dying over a hole in the ground where shiny metal comes out. Now, if you believe that the, that, the, that the elites are all about the fiat dollar, the fiat dollar is for you. It's for you to die with, okay? It is for you to be devalued out of existence, that you can no longer afford regular food anymore. You have to eat Franken food because it's the only thing cheap enough for you to be able to afford. This is the reality. This is They wrote it down all so long ago about controlling your money and driving you into debt and, and, and printing things like it's going out of style. It was all in books, okay? The, the Marxist was quite clear about what it was doing. And if, if you look at the situation, this is where you're at. Yeah, and you have individuals right now dying for a bank, okay, known as the Central Reserve Bank, the Federal Reserve Bank, and they're dying while you protect that bank. The reason why that these people have shield and cover is because the American legislature gives them that cover. The American legislature gives them the most powerful military in the world to make sure they don't get beat up and taken to prison. I mean, this is this is this is the reality of what's going on here. And your Federal Reserve Bank is in now four more nations in Africa, shooting people in the face, burning their villages down, killing the women and children over shiny metal. It ain't over dollars. It's not over cotton paper with some ink on it. Yeah, so next time you hear that the, the gold is uh, for jewelry, look at what uh, what's being waged war. This this certainly could lead to, you know, and this is the kind of event, right, that leads to uh, war behind the scenes that, you know, we'll be told uh, it's one thing and then, uh, you know, the truth is really it's all about the gold. It's all about the bling. we got to get it. we got to get this uh, into the coffers of the elite. They don't want the cotton paper dollars. They want the shiny yellow stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, they, you know, people, people on a grand scale and, 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 and in reality, they know what money is. They know what a store of wealth is. And they know it isn't paper. How Germany is going to possibly repay, I don't, I don't know where this can go. There's so many people who are now involved. And for all you rocket scientists out there, okay? That's me. All the congressmen who have been implicated. That's not me. All the economists who have been implicated, all of these individuals, let me tell you what, they they bat for both teams. They're, they're R's and D's. There is no difference. This is a racket game. It is a game. It is a fascist racket game. It is the merger of government power and banking power, a corporate banking system. This is fascism. And it, it, something has got to be done. I mean, now we're, we're not just robbing... 
we're robbing every nation. We're robbing anybody, you know, just because we got a big nuclear uh, bomb. It's not robbing. It's butchering. It's it's murdering when you're murdering them to take what they have. Uh, that you know, it's just murder. You can drop the robbery part. It's just outright murder. Oh, good time, Charlie. We're we're gonna take a break. Eric Lovely, Charlie McGrath, Wide Awake News Radio. Your calls eight seven seven three four two six six seven three. Hang tight. We'll be right back. I'm very tired. Charlie McGrath of WideAwakeNews.com here with a message about Legacy Premium Freeze-Dried Storable Food, available at BuyEmergencyFoods.com. I recently returned from a trip to the manufacturing facility, and I'm here to tell you it was impressive. Over 50 employees working hard to produce the highest quality, best tasting, most healthy, certified GMO-free freeze-dried storable food on the market. And now that I've been to the manufacturing facility, I can tell you, from receiving to production to shipping, these guys have one thing in mind, that is quality, plain and simple. Please do yourself, do your loved ones a favor, be prepared for an uncertain future with Legacy Premium Freeze-Dried Storable Foods, available at BuyEmergencyFoods.com. You can call them at 888-543-7345, that number again, 888-543-7345, or better yet, visit them online at BuyEmergencyFoods.com. You're listening to Charlie nationwide and worldwide on the internet on the Rents Radio Network. Known worldwide as the most consistently fascinating, informative, and unique program on radio, the Jeff Rents program can be yours to listen to anytime, anywhere, whenever you want to hear it. For pennies a day, our subscribers can download any of Jeff's thousands of programs featuring a treasury of newsmakers, researchers, eyewitnesses, and incredible subjects, all in MP3, commercial-free, crystal-clear, 56-bit digital sound, and take these often unforgettable programs with them wherever they go. As a subscriber, you can also listen live at airtime, online, anywhere in the world, or browse through our archives of over 10,000 hours of legendary broadcasts. Subscribe now by taking the link at the top of Rents.com and enrich your mind with the most unique panorama of vital information and the best independent, honest journalism in radio. Look for the Subscribe Now link on Rents.com and give yourself the knowledge you need for these unprecedented times. Heart-related health problems affect millions of people each year. Maybe you're one of the many who suffer from issues related to angina pain, high blood pressure, congestive heart failure, unbalanced cholesterol, irregular heartbeat, or clogged arteries. There is a solution that doesn't involve expensive prescription drugs that only mask the problem and leave you with horrible side effects. If you are ready to live your life free of sickness, pain, and fear, live your life with increased vitality, energy, and youthfulness, and experience Experience your body healing itself, then you're ready for Heart and Body Extract from Healthy Hearts Club. Heart and Body Extract has a 23-year proven track record of using certified organic herbs that make up an excellent formula to balance and support the heart and circulatory system. In as little as two weeks, you can feel amazing results when your two-month supply of Heart and Body Extract today. Call 1-866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com. Welcome back to Wide Awake News Radio. I'm your host, Charlie McGrath. Eric Lovely didn't say anything on purpose because he knew I would. He is, uh, he and I are uh, guests are hosting each other's uh, first hour of Wide Awake News Radio. We're talking about gold. We're talking about Germany losing 60% of their gold. Uh, wars being waged in Africa that we're not hearing about. Uh, and all this is, uh, you know, it, it's your average Thursday in the United States of America now, uh, Eric Lovely. Well, yeah, I mean, it, nobody, they're not going to talk to you about uh, the war that, basically the proxy war, 
I mean, it's what it is. You have an African group of individuals who are the proxy soldiers of the U.S. and the West. You have another group that are the proxy soldiers of the East. And basically, if people don't know the underdeveloped, war-torn continent of Africa, you really should look at its structure and its history all the way back into slavery. And you'll, you'll find out some rather interesting things, like they were in favor of slavery because the kings and the elites that were trying to take over the African continent would kill and capture the enemy tribes and then trade them for more rifles and more guns and more bullets. That's where slavery really comes from. And people don't understand that. And the, the, it was the Catholic Church fighting a proxy war through certain kings who wanted to change and become more Catholic-like so that they could burn and root out the evil heathens. But what they really wanted was to take over land and territory, just like the same disgusting people everywhere else in the world. doesn't matter what race you are, you have disgusting people. So if you look at what's happening in Africa, Africa is probably the wealthiest. If we could stop all of the killing for even a week, and and simply get in there and and send the teams and teams of scientists throughout Africa. You will find that probably I'm I'm willing to bank that Africa is the wealthiest uh, continent on the planet. Uh, they have found now rare earth materials, challenging China's hold on the only uh, major bank of rare earth materials to make rare earth magnets and so on and so forth to make the the cool solar projects and the new ion drive that they're talking about for their new spaceships and all these other things. Uh, Africa really has this wealth, and and right now you see continued since I mean forever and ever, the not not the Nazis warred and tried to conquer Africa for the resources, uh, the Americans realized and understood the value of the resources and tried to take them over. Uh, you have uh, African leaders who have realized the greatness that Africa could possibly pose to the world, and through its wealth and you know its ability to produce and its population. So they killed that man. His name is Muammar Gaddafi. And we could go on and on down a list of people who have been basically warring in Africa. But there's no, there, they have other things they need to divert your attention away from. And there's no sensational, sensational, blah, blah, blah. sensationalism. Yeah, there's none of that so revolved around this gold because they don't want you to think about gold or talk about gold. Like, why are we spending this? Uh, I think it's, it's up to a billion dollars a month now in this proxy war uh, fighting over a hole in the ground where some shiny metal comes out. If we're not supposed to worry about gold, gold's not money. It's just some fanciful old, you know, tradition that you just hold gold and keep it around as the central banks. But they're killing people for it. So if they want it that bad, why don't you want it that bad? Exactly. And, and you know, it's I'm sitting here while you're talking, looking at what is the top news of the day. Uh, because certainly you're not hearing about gold wars in, in Africa. You know, you, you might hear... Uh, some other excuse for why we need to be uh, waging war in, in uh, North Africa or uh, in the Middle East. And, and, of course, you know, we had the uh, the foreign policy debate during Monday Night Football and a, and a Major League Baseball playoff game. Uh, so, you know, any tough questions or, or tough statements that were made, it was going to be broadcast to the smallest uh, audience possible. Uh, but, you know, Eric, let me ask you this, because there's part of me that thinks that even if, they did uh, uh, make some kind of announcement on all this gold uh, being gone. I mean, first of all, and forget about Africa, because we're going to get sold a bill of goods, and more than likely the people are going to buy it, that we're there to, uh, you know, to free uh, the, the continent from uh, Coney, or whatever the case is, whatever uh, dem democratic uh, uh, spreading propaganda they, they uh, put out there. They'll, they'll sell it, we'll buy it, and we'll go to war there. But do you, I mean, do you think if, if for one second that this could be the catalyst, the gold? Because I, I was thinking about this a little bit during the break. L look at how, look at how hard that the mainstream business media uh, has tried to do just the opposite of that. I mean, do you, do you think for a sec that uh, these central banks are not fully aware of who's got what and how much is left and, and who's oh. stole? I, I think that the central banks are fully aware, and that's the reason why they're waging a war like this. Because China, China, unlike other countries, hasn't messed with ETFs and hasn't messed with uh, trading and leasing gold and all of these things. You see, China, every ounce of gold, it, it, it has a 30% what they call float. In other words, they will sell and buy out of this pool of gold, 
and that will float up and down and up and down. That's about 30% of their stock. But all right. of 70% of their stock of gold they have always owned since the day it was mined out of the ground. See, this is what people don't understand. They, they have not allowed outside investors to take their gold. The only gold and silver that they sell is, is new stuff mined out of the ground, and they will sell 30% of it, and they will increase their holdings with the other 70%. And they continue to increase their holdings at all times. This is the reason why China has always been looked at as the great enemy, is because they actually store real wealth, even though that they've been Marxist at the core. For some reason, they've been smart enough to hold on to real gold and real silver for a long, long time. Yeah, but they know. Also, it, 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 so with the Chinese now moving in for this gold supply, that means 70% of everything that comes out of the ground will go into a Chinese coffer to back their currency and their economy and never to see the light of day again. So this is the reason why they're fighting that war, because they don't fractional reserve gold the way that the central banks do. So, I mean, it really is ridiculous with, what, with what's going on here. And it's funny that you mentioned Coney as well, because there are now supposed leaks information. Somebody is talking about something that, that Wiki, that may get uh, Julian Assange basically shot in the forehead and killed, is because Wiki has the information that the Coney story was basically a cover to send in 500 special forces to basically broker the deal to get the arms to this African group, that the Coney, uh, the whole Coney story was complete cover to ship weapons of mass destruction into the nations of Africa to then basically put them on a dirt road and have us fund these patriots who are fighting over this gold mine. So th this is a far-reaching, broad event. It starts talking about a lot of stories you have seen in the news where you're looking at him wondering, you know, why why in the world are we worried about Coney? What, what good does he serve? Well, if you need to send in troops and seven or eight semi-trucks full of guns and ammunition, well, that's a good cover story. This old, we'll dig up this old crusty guy, you know, that hasn't even been here for a decade, and we'll talk about how we're sending people in to get him. <laughs> we had blood diamonds, now we're going to have blood gold. That It's basically what it is. I mean, you know, they're fighting over the oil reserve. There, there's so many resources. I mean, this really is a powder keg. And it is it is so contingent on the economy and the economy i mean i'll tell you prices everything everything would be completely out of whack overnight if if this gold does not exist it, it will it will completely it when's could, it going to when do you think from what you're what you're looking into what you're researching here is this coming to a head anytime uh, in the near future well, here's what they're trying to do. They're trying to pacify everything through litigation. They're trying to issue fines and fiat dollar denominated things. They're trying to pacify the Germans. Uh, you know, it, it really depends. If, if, if a lot of people who are listening pass the story on and associate with other people and continue focusing on the light on it saying, where is the gold? Where is the gold? And, and once you, once the market realizes the gold is gone, that's the, all the further you need to take it. The government doesn't have to admit anything. Nobody has to go to jail. If you want to see change start to happen, focus enough light so that the economy itself realizes that that gold is gone, and from there it's going to be domino effects. I mean, it, it, that's just the reality. And, and on top of that, if they lose this proxy war in Africa, that's going to be detrimental, serious detriment to the economy. No doubt. And I'll tell you why, because, well, we got a break. You can tell us why after the break, Eric, but we're going to be back in just a few minutes, guys. Hang tight. Hey guys, Charlie McGrath here at WideAwakeNews.com and I'm here to tell you I believe that Chris and the folks over at SeedsNow.com And then they take this guilt and apply it to the market to buy the gold, 60% of this wealth to funnel it back into Germany, okay? When they cash these gilts in, the very moment they start to buy, they're not trading in paper gold either they want hard gold because they're putting it into a reserve bank system in other words they have to have actual asset gold they have to eat the hard stuff 
this is going to make the prices shoot through the ceiling because there's going to be this massive demand player come onto the scene and they aren't even going to get as much gold because the prices are going to be the, the prices are going to go up so high they're going to get less gold out of it because they're simply only because they only have fiat dollars to work with so as the price inflates and rises out of their reach they're going to get less and less gold back into their nation, which then extrapolates from that, causing even more problems because now they have to revalue their debt based on the new amount of gold that they have and on and on and on. Does any of that stuff make sense, Charlie? Yeah, it completely makes sense. I, I just I don't know if, you know, I mean, I, I, we've seen so much manipulation, Eric, and, and so much just uh, so much. Uh, con game continue uh, over the you know namely since you know 71 and we get away from precious metals altogether i i mean i this could be a huge deal if everybody woke up to it i i, I think what anything history has taught us recently is nobody's going to wake up to it nobody's going to wake up to it They're just well, so I, I, I don't i i think people are awake to it you know we've had this conversation many times and i tell you that people know people really know they do it, it's just the problem is it is it hasn't it hasn't shrank the portions on their dinner plate yet. Yeah. It it hasn't it hasn't made them say, okay, to be able to afford electricity, we have to go Tuesday and Thursday without using any power. It hasn't it hasn't made it okay. You need to conserve water because we can't go to the water pump until Friday and refill our water supply. It, it hasn't brought it down to that level. That the paper Ponzi scheme has made it so that they don't care. Because they're not, you know, they see the prices going up and they're starting to get worried. People, are, but they have no idea what really to do about it or how to work with others because social engineering, school, social networking has separated them from the natural social activity of working with their neighbors to feed themselves. I mean, this, this is one of the greatest, I don't know, what are they, the, the Greek tragedies? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's really what we're boiling it down to. You know, we listened to the bankers when they said. Industrial revolution, give up your farms and go to work in factories and building all these new gadgets and all these things. And you gave up the one thing that's going to save your life when this entire shitstorm, excuse my language, uh, comes together. Because, I mean, it is too gross. It is too obscene in size and scope and depth of corruption for it not to implode and cause massive destruction. Oh, I don't know how many things we've said that about, though, you know. Well, I'm talking about the economy as a whole. I'm not talking about the gold as being a portion to the economy. I'm talking about the economy itself, the way it functions, the way it runs, well, it the way corporations operate, the the way individuals are actually viewed. The whole entire thing is sculptured to destroy humanity. I, I really can't see it in any other way. We're going to find out, and I think sooner than later. Do you think that we will? Have, this will be the crisis then that... Uh, uh, I mean, we could certainly see global war start over this, uh, this uh, vast uh, uh, war being uh, uh, waged over gold at this point and, and the lies between nations, let us hold your gold, we're going to keep it safe for you. I mean, these, these are the things that war start over. Of course, it'll be given another uh, name or another reason. Um, and, and so I'm trying to look forward here to after the first year, regardless who the president is, and, and see what the big distraction is going to be uh, about the time of the fiscal cliff. Because you know there's one coming. This could certainly be it. Well, you know, I, I, I would look at this. This could be a possibility of, 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 of the physical uh, Armageddon day that people talked about. But I, I would view the Gold War situation in Africa, as Zibra Brzezinski once said, this is a prime staged kick the chessboard event. Yeah. So, in other words, if they want to just kick the chessboard on purpose because they look like things are spiraling, spiraling out of their control, this event could easily create World War III and basically just see massive destruction and so forth come out of this. So, I mean, I would watch it for many multiple reasons. Do I think it's the? I, I definitely think it. It's the front runner now. If you can shine enough spotlight on it to be 
the big brick wall that the economy runs into. I think it has that ability because it's such a huge pile of gold. There's so many countries involved. There's so many governments. What would be the solution offered? What do you think the solution offered when this uh, crisis was unleashed uh, or when this reality was unleashed that uh, all this is, uh, I mean, I'm trying to look at it from a perspective of every time we have a massive crisis, there's always a, an IMF or standing there with a the solution. You, you know, I, I, I don't even know. You see, this is a, this would be another crisis, but the problem with this one is, is it, it's it, it's just a giant hole. It, it you know, I, I don't I don't know how to tell you the multiple ways that this could go and the multiple different directions. I mean, if you listen to Max Kaiser, uh, his latest uh, release, and you start digging into the information, I mean, Citibank's involved, Bank of America's involved, Whippa Lacucci, I know that's not how you say their name, but... Um, uh, I like it, say it again. <laughs> Whippa Lacucci, um, Wells Fargo, and the, I can't, I don't know how to say it. It's the Whippa Bank. And those two together, those are the guys who uh, diversified and embezzled all the drug money from Colombia and from South America and so forth. I mean, all of these banks, the Bank of England is involved. Uh, the Bundesbank is involved. The, the, the German, uh, uh, Thaglach Mint, I think it is. Uh, there, there's so many high, figure finance companies and things that are involved in this situation I don't know what kind of possible crap sandwich you could sell to somebody to convince them to eat it I mean, <laughs> really this is it, this is to me this right here I mean I don't know how they're gonna cover this up because this is massive you're talking about one of the largest gold holders in the world just got robbed blind in the middle of daylight, and the American bank, that, or, or the Federal Reserve Bank, is basically sitting there looking at Congress going, yeah, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> uh, you're a goofball. Well, That's the truth. Well, I mean, we've seen their, their, we've seen their hubris expand and grow, and uh, the, I mean, it's not that shocking that they would go for broke, uh, but, you know, as far as the trigger event that, that collapses uh, the global economy. What about China? I mean, China's sitting there with, with gold that they actually own it. They actually have it there. They're, they're taking back what isn't there. They're taking it out of uh, uh, imperial weights and putting it into kilos. I mean, I, 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 this seems to be setting a stage for, you know, we're going to have a West versus East World War Three type uh, play out. And, you know, if you really, this is another thing, you want to talk about elections, this, this is the reason why Americans are, are pretty pathetic and whatnot. <laughs> and, you know, you got a system of Republicans and Democrats staring you in the face, right? But if Mitt Romney was really the enemy and he was a Republican, don't you think he'd be on his stump talking about Libya and why we went over there to kill them, to take the gold back, to, to basically pay back debts? I mean, none of these people are talking about it. And the reason why is because they're all got their hands in the pot. Every Republican and every Democrat, you get so yeah, they're all the same team. About. Yeah, they're all profiting, man. And they're, they're they're right now they are collecting money for African blood. That's what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. Your politicians are fat and happy and lying with the goodies dripping off their chin, looking in the camera, smiling, hey, vote for me. Yeah, I approve this <laughs> message. While people are being butchered, women and children. Okay, they just had they, they just found over forty bodies of children that were under the age of eleven. Okay, in a village over this gold war, and 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 th these disgusting degenerates are strutting around on TV, lining their pockets with the money, killing these freaking kids and these women in, in a foreign country, and we just sit around going, you know, vote red team, vote blue team. It, it, it's it's disgusting. It really is. It really turns my stomach. Society has fallen such a such a far far way, and it's about to hit the bottom, buddy. It's about to you know we went off the cliff. We were playing uh, the same left right game in 2010 in that uh, wave election. Now we're going to play the same one in 2012. I don't know who's going to win here in a few weeks. Uh, I I still think Obama is going to end up uh, winning this thing. Fabian uh, for Liberty sent me an email or a text message during the program thing uh, with a theory on. Uh, why uh, Obama's really pushing this early election or this early uh, uh, early vote. He's thinking uh, that, you know, this might be ripe for a, an election day false flag event. I, I, I you know what, I, I don't know. This is what I do know, that, that the majority, I, I'm, I'm kind of like you at this point, Eric. 
the majority of the people that have heard the message, um, I shouldn't say the majority of the people have heard them, but the majority of the people do not want to accept reality as it truly is happening in front of them. And I don't care if it's you tell them that people are getting their heads and hands and legs chopped off uh, so they can get little pieces of shiny yellow metal out of the ground. They just don't care. They just don't care. They want things to remain normal, and they want things to remain steady, and they want things to remain calm. And, uh, they, you know, they're biased uh, to their own uh, wants and needs, their, to their own selfishness. It, it is exactly. Look around your house. Everything that's in your house, I guarantee 90% of it can be directly measured in the amount of slave blood that it took to get you that freaking TV. How many ounces of blood did it take for that pound of TV? You know, look at yourself. Look at your society. Please. Eric Lovely, thank you very much for joining me. You're welcome to hang out with me and Chris. We're going to be back here in just a few minutes, guys. Please hang tight.